Hello, welcome back to Tronics in 10. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to build a radio. In part one, I'm going to show you how to construct the antenna coil and the first stage or two of our receiver. So stick around, I'll be right back. The first part of our receiver is going to be this antenna tuning coil. Now I used a, a regular pill bottle, uh, measures 2 and 7 eighths inches long and it is uh, 1 and a quarter inches in diameter. Uh, if you don't have a pill bottle you can use uh, a plastic PVC pipe. Um, a wooden doweling, um, heavy cardboard tubing, uh, anything that's uh, an insulator, doesn't conduct electricity, and is about an inch and a quarter in diameter uh, should work fine. Now there's two coils on this coil form. Uh, the first one is uh, blue in color and it consists of eight turns of number 30 gauge wire wrap wire and uh, I just happened to select uh, uh, the blue color uh, that is the coupling coil that uh, will connect to uh, the wire that we're going to use for our antenna and the start of the coupling coil is also going to be connected to the start of the other coil which is 85 turns of number 30 gauge wire. Now I happen to have uh, quite a bit of number 30 gauge enameled covered wire so I went ahead and used that for the tuning coil. Um, either wire is okay uh, you can use the same wire in both places. Uh, the, the thing that is important is the direction that you wind your coil uh, you have to wind the other coil in the same direction okay and the start of this coil um, is connected to the start of this coil um, these uh, wires that come out the side the blue uh, coupling coil and the enamel covered uh, 30 gauge wire is uh, connected together and that uh, will ultimately go to uh, ground on our on our circuit and then the uh, the free end of our 85 turn coil uh, that will connect to the tuning capacitor Now here I've taken the cap from this uh, pill bottle and using double sided adhesive tape I mounted this cap onto a, a scrap piece of perf board so it gives a, a good firm base and uh, stability so our coil does not uh, move around too much. Uh, but I screwed the uh, pill bottle onto its cover and it uh, holds it uh, firmly in place and the next step will be soldering the tuning capacitor in parallel with the uh, antenna tuning coil. Well, the next process of our construction is connecting the variable tuning capacitor in parallel to the tuning coil portion of, of our coil assembly uh, this was removed from an old clock radio and the value is uh, 15 picofarads to 250 picofarads of capacitance. Uh, you can buy these online if you don't want to remove one from an old radio. Uh, you can even make your own. Uh, you can uh, get on Google and type in uh, homemade variable capacitors and there's uh, construction plans that come up 
uh, different uh, ways that you can construct your own. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, solder uh, the leads together on our tuning capacitor starting with uh, uh, the ground connection where our uh, two coil ends uh, start and then uh, the other connection of the tuning cap will go to the other wire of our 85 turn coil. Uh, incidentally if, if you measure the 85 turn coil with an inductance meter if you happen to have one on your workbench um, you'll measure approximately 190 uh, microhenries of inductance. Um, for those of you who have inductance meters on your on your workbench. Uh, if you do not, it's uh, not a big deal. It's just a matter of uh, uh, trying to be uh, fairly close to uh, 85 turns. Um, with 85 turns on the tuning coil, and uh, a, a 15 to 250 PF tuning cap, you'll be able to cover uh, about three quarters of the AM broadcast band. Um, if you need to go lower in, into the, the bottom part of the broadcast band, say in the, the 550, 6, 700 uh, kilocycle range, uh, you'll need to either add additional turns to the tuning coil or increase the size of your capacitor. Okay, I have uh, the tuning coil, tuning capacitor part uh, completed. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and point things out to you. Um, I have the, the uh, one end, the hot end of the 85 turn coil that is connected to one leg of the variable tuning capacitor and I have a, a twisted uh, a pair of wires about six inches long that will go back to our receiver board. Uh, the green uh, wire is ground and yellow is signal and yellow connects uh, to the uh, hot side of the uh, tuning cap, the positive side, and then uh, green connects to the ground of the tuning cap and it also connects to where our two start windings are, uh, one each for the uh, antenna uh, coupling coil and the other for the uh, main tuning coil. Okay, the next part of our construction process is we have our first stage transistor mounted. Uh, this is a an MPF 102 field effect transistor and it is mounted uh, on a modular breadboard as I uh, uh, talked about in uh, circuit board preparations uh, part one through four in my earlier videos. Uh, I have the anchor ears uh, soldered down to securely hold this in place and uh, the particular FET transistor that I'm using for the first stage came from Radio Shack and the pinout with the flat side uh, facing you and uh, the leads uh, sticking downward uh, left to right is drain, source, and gate. Now if your MPF 102 transistor came from another uh, vendor uh, you're going to want to consult the data sheet and make sure uh, you're aware of the pinout. Uh, for your particular device. Now uh, we're going to start mounting uh, the resistors that make up uh, our circuit and we're going to start with the gate circuit and that is going to have a resistor from the gate uh, lead of the transistor to ground. It is a 3.3 mega ohm resistor. The color code is orange, orange, green. 
and we're going to tack that down now and get that soldered into place on the uh, gate lead of, of the transistor. Now I have the gate lead coming out the back side of my uh, my uh, modularized perf board uh, just so it's a straight shot to the antenna connections um, uh, the antenna coil okay we have our uh, resistor uh, biasing uh, gate resistor soldered uh, from the uh, ground plane the copper clad board uh, to the gate lead and it's a 3.3 mega ohm resistor color code is orange orange green and then uh, the next thing uh, that we're going to do is solder the lead for the uh, the drain and that's going to be a 2.2 K resistor 2200 ohms color code is red 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 and one end of this resistor will go to the drain lead of our transistor and the other end will be soldered down on our uh, voltage distribution bus or our VCC where we pick off our our nine volts and we get to one end of this soldered down Well, it looks like we're running out of time. I went past my 10 minutes, so we're going to stop right here, and we'll pick up in uh, part two where we left off. Um, just to recap here, I got a orange, orange, green, 3.3 uh, meg resistor from the gate lead to ground, and then on the drain lead of the FET transistor, I have a 2.2 K. Uh, resistor uh, red 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 <coughs> is the color code and that goes from the drain connection to our uh, voltage uh, pickoff point uh, our uh, VCC bus and I thank you for watching this episode of Tronics in 10 my name is Brian <coughs> and we'll be back with part 2 and we'll pick up where we left off thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye